Lahiri was established in 1974 by J.R.D. Tata and Darbari Seth. The whole idea of setting up of Terry was that there should be an institute which should work on the problems that mankind is going to face in the future. For 50 years, the Energy and Resources Institute has been at the forefront of India's sustainable development journey. With a team of over 700 professionals, we have been tirelessly paving the way for a sustainable future by providing transformational solutions through policy research and technological innovation. From studying glacial melt in the Himalayas to providing policy recommendations on climate and energy at the national and regional level, Terry has been at the center stage of understanding the ecological impact of climate change to drive sustainable development. As we begin the 50th year of Terry's existence, I would like to thank the founders for the foresight that they showed in setting up this body and to all of you who work for Terry, all of you who have in the past worked for Terry, the alumni, for all that you have done to bring Terry to this level. Standing strong with the Indian citizenry, Terry grew into the leading voice on the need for energy for all, advancing India's efforts to provide affordable and accessible electricity. We illuminated pathways by bringing renewable energy to not just remote pockets in the country, but also by supporting the global community. We have served clients in Africa, in Southeast Asia over the past many years, and now also in far off places like Guyana, Brazil, Mexico, and even Central Asia nowadays. Uh, moving forward, I think in line with India's commitments towards the net zero economy, we have increased our focus on the renewable sector. We are working in the power sector, trying to see how we can integrate more and more renewables into the grid, as well as newer age fuels like the role of green hydrogen in harder to build sectors like iron and steel. Understanding the challenges faced by India and the developing world, we broadened our horizons from energy-focused solutions to addressing the country's myriad priorities. From organizing a first-of-its-kind international conference in a developing country on global warming and climate change in 1989 to suggesting sustainable pathways in our Green India 2047 report in 1997, our work has been the mouthpiece for an early call on climate change. We carry out climate risk assessments. We are known for our work on GHG emissions profiling and uh, strategizing with regard to net zero emission pathways right now. We're also working in the climate policy domain where we are uh, focusing on issues of international importance with regard to the global stock take process, contributions to the global, global goal on adaptation, on climate finance with regard to the loss and damage fund, and also with regard to transparency and accountability issues. Recognizing the interlinkages of biodiversity with the livelihood generation of forest-based communities and the pivotal role they play in maintaining healthy ecosystem services, our work across the years has concentrated on ensuring clean air, water and land. Terry's water activities has been an inspiring journey for the last three decades where we have worked with several stakeholders including the central and state governments, industries and people at the grassroots level where we have worked on several key areas such as water conservation, water use efficiency, integrated water resources management, uh, wastewater management, uh, aspects related to glacial research and so on and so forth. Terry has contributed towards the development of joint forest management institutions in India which led to the participatory forest management by more than one lakh joint forest management committees. Terry has also contributed towards the development of carbon finance mechanism through REDD Plus and afforestation and reforestation activities. As a young country with over a billion mouths to feed, Terry, like the government, was conscious of meeting India's growing food demand and nutritional security. 
aware of the impact of unsustainable agricultural practices and the sector's contribution to carbon emissions, we have developed solutions that foster regenerative agriculture through sustainable farming practices. The Sustainable Agriculture Program develops tools and technologies that contributes to Terry's mission. Uh, these include use of natural resources and agricultural residues for producing uh, products that are of immense use to consumers and to farmers. Uh, some such products include uh, mycorrhizae and na nano fertilizers. Uh, these nano fertilizers are based, uh, developed by biological processes that are not only environmental friendly but also contribute to environmental sustainability. This relentless pursuit continues with the Terry Deakin Nanobiotechnology Center, a collaborative masterpiece with Deakin University. Together, through innovative nanobiotechnology solutions, we have been inventing sustainable approaches in agriculture. Serving as a bridge and carrying our aspirations for nationwide transformation to the grassroots, Terry was among the first think tanks to birth regional centers in Guwahati, Gurugram, Bengaluru, Goa, Nenital and Mumbai. One of the biggest contributions of Terry has been you know, opening up the regional centers across India, which has led to climate action and appropriately because all across India we suffer from different disasters now and then. While it was clear to us for a long time that the current development pathways were stained with unabated resource consumption, we began researching technological interventions to mitigate its adverse environmental impacts. In several parts of India and internationally, our technology products have cleaned polluted land. Terry is the premium organization where we try to develop the green solutions for user industries. The one of the solutions we have developed known as oil zapper which was developed after six years of extensive research work in Terry laboratories. This oil zapper is being used by all oil companies in India since 2000. Currently oil zapper is being also used in Middle East countries in a country Kuwait oil company where we have done the clean up of oil spill of more than 1.5 square kilometer area. Globally, buildings, construction and the transport sectors have emerged as the largest contributors of carbon emissions, bringing them to the core of the climate change discourse. As a developing country, with almost two-thirds of its infrastructure yet to be developed, along with an increasingly aspirational middle class, we had been wise to India's potential for a green and inclusive growth. We at the Sustainable Infrastructure Program of Terry work towards creating innovative solutions for a sustainable future to mitigate climate change and create a sustainable and resilient built environment along with low carbon transport systems. The brand Griha has emerged as a powerful tool to evaluate the decarbonization efforts in the built environment while ensuring resilient and sustainable development. We have established Terry Centers of Excellence with the objective of providing transformative climate action while contributing towards the 2070 National Goal. Beyond our collaborations with the government, multilaterals and philanthropists, Terry's engagement with the corporates has played a decisive role in shaping policies by bringing together the top players in the industry. Acting as an interface between our research and the corporate world through the Terry Council for Business Sustainability, we have highlighted the core issues businesses need to undertake to build the necessary impetus for sustainable development. As a governing council member and as a co-chair of Terry Centre for Business Sustainability, I have the opportunity to know the institution closely. I can say that with committed and knowledgeable team members, it has played a very important role and has an immense potential for supporting actions on climate change, energy transition, nanotechnology, sustainable agriculture, ESG, etc. 
we've had a wonderful association with Terry uh, from Tata Group as well as from Tata Chemicals especially through the association through Mr. Darbari say to let both these organizations wonderfully and set the objectives, uh, lofty heights for, from which we could sort of serve the humanity and serve the entire planet. In the face of the triple planetary crisis of climate change, air pollution and biodiversity loss, we have doubled down on our efforts to jointly act with the corporates in finding answers to the planet's woes and achieving the goals set in the 2030 Agenda. Integrating of Sustainable Development Goals is crucial, towards which Terry has developed policy solutions such as green budgeting and green public procurement to nudge policies and markets in various sectors and spheres of action. Through the World Sustainable Development Summit, and Act for Earth, Terry has contributed to the global discourse by strengthening science policy interface and multi-stakeholder perspectives from the Global South. The only independently convened international summit on sustainable development and climate action based on the Global South, the World Sustainable Development Summit strives to drive leadership by bringing together stakeholders on a single platform for over two decades. The social sector in India is transforming in a big manner. Terry, in fact, with its overall strategy of engaging with the global commons, has addressed many solutions for village development program, for social development programs, and largely addressing the social issues in form of achieving the sustainable development goals. In this context, we have devised several CSR programs, ESG programs, and that is leading to several solutions in form of addressing clean energy issues, meeting the climate goals and achieving several sustainable development goals. While policy research, technology innovation and advocacy remained the foundations on which we built our legacy, igniting young minds and nurturing them to be the architects of a sustainable future became our anchor. Terry believes in the power of youth and it is this belief that is taking it forward to reach out to schools and colleges across the country in a bid to create environment awareness. Through the Terry School of Advanced Studies, our academic arm and our flagship initiatives such as Green Olympiad, our commitment to the youth to address their concerns and amplify their voices has been among our top priorities. Terry has been playing legendary role in addressing the challenges related to sustainability. Terry SAS, which is a unique organization promoted by Terry for imparting education related to sustainable development and produce leaders who can ensure ecological and environmental security while improving quality of life of people with judicious use of energy and resources. From a small one-room office to a premier think tank, for the past five decades, Terry has fanned the winds of positive change. Now embarking on the next leg of our journey, having spearheaded global sustainability discourse in India, our aim is to constantly raise the bar to accelerate India's transition to a safer and more sustainable future. With the last 50 years teaching us the urgency of raising ambition and pushing frontiers for meaningful action, it is what we do now to create a safer planet for all that will make our words count.